Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be vlogging her first 24 hours at home. Starting now, we are still at the hospital, but we are getting discharged right now. Sam actually went to go get her car seat and I just got her ready and I got myself presentable, ready to go. The kids are so excited for me to bring her home and I'm just, I'm beyond excited as well. But before we leave the hospital, I'm going to roll the clip of her name reveal really quick. So go ahead and watch that. So here is Elena Elisa. She is so cute. The name actually fits her so well. And I don't know if you guys have been able to tell, but she is Logan's little twin. She came out with light colored hair and she just looks like him, all the features and stuff. So hopefully next with our fourth baby, we have a boy version of Briello. That would be so cool. But yeah, so we're gonna get going, get on the road, and then I'll bring you guys along for her first 24 hours at home. You ready? She's not gonna like it. Not at all. Not at all. Oh. How many seconds until she screams? Let's see. Don't freak out on her, okay? Don't freak out. Nope, her little crying face. Baby, huh? And then the blanket. <coughs> you want this? Mm -hmm. Okay. She can be a cry baby. We are ready. Briella, look at mommy. Do you love her? You love her. That's your sister. Yeah. She loves you. <laughs> I knew she would focus more on her when we got home. Yeah. You like her hands? Look at her, look at her little baby hand. You like her feet too? <laughs> okay, you guys, so we've been home for a couple of hours. I took a nap with Elena and the kids have just been hanging out. But I just did my first pump session and I got four ounces out of this one. And then after she eats again, off of this one, I'll pump, or I don't even know, she just ate. But I think what I'm going to do is when she eats off of this one again, I'll pump this one and then we'll keep that going. Just alternate each time that she eats just in case I don't want to pump too much and then her not be able to eat. But I'm going to make my first milk bag, four ounces. And then today's date is the 12th, right? 10, 12. Perfect. If you guys don't know, I always have an oversupply. So I'm trying to stay on top of pumping to avoid mastitis this time. So yeah, I, I, I'm going to be pumping a lot. Look at all that liquid gold, you guys. 
Hi guys. No. Oh. Ow. No. Hey. Oh. I'm gonna be the real. Ow. Real. Oh my goodness, you guys. We don't need to fight. So first bag of milk going in the freezer. Four ounces right here. Hi you guys, it is about two days later now. Ever since we got home with Elena, we've just been relaxing, enjoying the enjoying the newborn phase. And obviously, like I look so postpartum right now. My milk came in, so I've just been like pumping every five minutes. And now we are out of the house because we have Elena's first appointment. So I'm really excited to see if she gained weight or if she lost weight. She's very fussy right now. Pretty sure she wants to eat. So Let's go ahead and get this done really quick because we're already running a little bit late. couple of days it is now almost three weeks later she will be three weeks old tomorrow the main reason I haven't been recording or posting much is because I really wanted to take in this newborn phase I know how fast it flies by and I love this stage so much so I really just wanted to enjoy it in the beginning of this video I said I would record the first 24 hours at home which I did not do and after leaving her doctor's appointment I just put down the camera because I started going through a lot but before I do that let me give you guys that that first update after getting out of the doctor's office so she was born at seven pounds six and a half ounces and she went down to seven pounds one ounce when we left the hospital and she was four days old when we went to the doctor for the first time and she gained all of her weight back she was seven pounds seven ounces when we went back and then we went back another time one week later and she was seven pounds 15 ounces so she's doing really well on her weight gain and that means she's just loving mama's milk <laughs> so after leaving her first appointment, I was four days postpartum, and then at seven days postpartum, my boobs really started hurting, and I knew that I was on the road to mastitis, so I started pumping so much more, and I still ended up getting a fever, and that was on a Friday. So I called my OBGYN, asked for antibiotics, and I started taking them, and the fever went away that next day. So I only had like one or two fevers, and that was it, and then the antibiotics kicked in. So I told you that was a Friday, and then on Monday, I got another fever, and I started bleeding a lot. I stopped bleeding seven days postpartum, and then on Monday, I started bleeding again, bright red blood and it was pretty heavy so I called my OBGYN and they said that I should probably go get checked out because that wasn't the only symptom I was dealing with I know this is TMI but I started having really bad diarrhea and they told me I could be dealing with something called she just pooped <laughs> So they told me I could be dealing with something called C. diff, which comes from taking antibiotics. So they told me to go to the ER and get checked out for the bleeding and for the diarrhea. So I went and I was unable to give them a stool sample. So we didn't end up finding out if I had C. diff or not, but the diarrhea stopped. So I'm pretty sure I didn't have that. And it was just something that I had eaten or it was the antibiotics just messing up my stomach or whatever. So other than the C. diff stuff, I ended up getting an ultrasound of my uterus to see if there was 
was anything left over in there and that's what was causing my increase in bleeding and fever and they said they did see stuff in there and that I needed to follow up with my OBGYN because they couldn't really tell what it was which really freaked me out because I was like what if my uterus or like something in there is infecting me like I was really really terrified of getting like sepsis or something like that when I was still at the ER I called my OBGYN right before they closed and they told me I would have to wait until morning for the nurse practitioner to look at my chart and see what was going on and the next morning they called me and said that it's all normal postpartum stuff so I was really happy to hear that and they said that my bleeding could be on and off until I was six weeks postpartum or even more so after I got that whole situation figured out I was good for a couple of days I was home I was healing I was taking it easy so that nothing else would go on and Sam was still home he was cleaning the garage when this specific thing happened I'm so excited to share about it so he was cleaning the garage out and I ended up going out there to check what he was doing I didn't have any socks or shoes on and the door leading to the garage had a piece of metal spiked out and I didn't see it and it scratched my foot it drew blood it went through the skin and everything and so I was like oh my gosh is it rusty like I started looking at it you know for tetanus and if you guys know me I have health anxiety so I pay attention to all things and then Sam was like no this is aluminum like you're fine you're not gonna get anything or he, he didn't say that I wasn't gonna get anything he said that aluminum doesn't rust so I just went with it and I was like okay so I washed it out with alcohol I went upstairs and I took a shower and everything and then the next morning when we woke up my foot was killing me and it was like super red around the wound and there was a red streak going up my foot and I started freaking out that whole day I was stressing out because I was like oh my gosh what if this is lymphangitis and I put a marker like a dot on the line and it went further than that so I was like I need to go to the ER like I need to figure out what this is so I went to the ER and they were like you need a tetanus shot you need to get one because it's infected and I don't know what you got cut by but yes aluminum can rust and yes you can get tetanus from it and it's a type of metal aluminum is a type of metal and Sam did not know what he was talking about so <laughs> I was terrified of getting the vaccine ever since I got health anxiety I'm really scared of taking medications I'm scared of vaccines I'm scared of everything okay so I was there and they just said you know you need to get this so that it doesn't turn into tetanus and they're like you should be more scared of tetanus than the vaccine so I stressed about it for hours they brought one into the room and I was like no 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 I can't do it so they had to throw that one away so right before I left the hospital I was still freaking out I didn't know if I should get it or not but I ended up getting it my whole family was telling me to get it and the doctors they were like would you rather have lockjaw because that's what tetanus can cause and I was like no well like I don't want it you know so I ended up getting the vaccine and then I left the hospital with some ointment to put on the wound and everything turned out fine so I'm doing better now and that was my second time going to the hospital in just two short weeks oh my goodness I couldn't believe that I was going again and I'm really trying to stay away from the hospital now so I'm staying inside I'm wearing shoes even around the house because I'm not trying to get cut by anything I don't want to get sick I've been pumping like crazy keeping my boobs empty so that I don't get mastitis so here we are almost three weeks postpartum I've been to the hospital twice and thankfully my little girl has been healthy as can be every time that I get back from the hospital I wouldn't even touch her until I went upstairs took a shower got those dirty clothes off of me and everything and then I would touch her while I was at the hospital I stayed away from everybody I was putting hand sanitizer on left and right and I just made sure to stay away from the ill people as much as I could but I needed to go get checked out just to make sure that nothing else was going on because like I need to be here for my kids so nothing can happen to me because they need me so that's why I go on the safe side and I just get checked out so that is what I wanted to tell you guys everything about my postpartum and about her doctor's appointment that I left you guys hanging on so if you guys enjoyed today's video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell I hope to see you all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys <music>